You though, always spoke very highly of Roland and said that he mm. deserves to be on the show. <coughs> Do you still feel the same way now that you've you know lost out to him? Um, yeah, I, I, you know, Roland's got a place on the show. He's, I liked watching him every week, and I liked uh, hanging out with him every week. You know, he's a, he's a lovely guy, and when he had to move out of the hotel, we missed him a lot. So, uh, yeah, he's like I say, he's a mate. So I'm not gonna, I can't, I couldn't say a bad word about him. Okay. You did tell us before as well that you thought he was um, a contender. Do you think he could go all the way and win the show now? Uh, I don't think he'll win the show, um, but you know, I think he's. I think he served his purpose. I think he's. You know, I think he's having fun, and I think uh, you know, long may it continue. So Good luck you, to him. Will you be voting for him now that you're out? Um, do you know what? I won't be voting for anyone because like I say there's two. I'm friends with everyone on the show, so. I could, if I voted for everyone, it would be just as good as me not voting for them all, really. Fair enough. <laughs> um, Gary, now, unfortunately, he does only have one act left in the competition, and that's yeah. Chris Maloney. Good How times. far do you think Chris can go? Um, God knows. Who knows, <laughs> eh? Do you rate Someone's him voting for him. Do you rate him as a performer? Or um, <clears throat> it's not my cup of tea. Fair enough. Uh, this year's overs category was, it was touted as one of the best ever. Mm. And, you know, yet yeah, three of you going out in five weeks. Why do you think the group has kind of collapsed a little bit? Um, I think there's a bad stigma attached to the overs. And, uh, you know, I think they're worse. I think Melanie, her voice is just ridiculous. Mm. Like, ridiculous. Um, she's an amazing singer. And I think Carolyn as well. And, you know, uh, I think this was. I do think this was potentially the best year the overs has ever been. Yeah. But I think with that whole overs stigma attached to it, maybe people expect you to sing overs songs, and that's why Chris is doing so well because he's he's get, um, fulfilling that market. Whilst as for me, I was just in the overs, and I'm not gonna sing show tunes because it's not what I do. So yeah. You know. We, did Gary ever like consider giving you a show tune no. here and there when you sort of no? Ga Gary there? let me sing every week what I wanted to sing and and he was supportive of that. Okay, uh, one complaint last week with Jade's exit was that it seemed like the person who'd performed better in the sing off was actually the one who ended up going home. Yeah. And you could argue that this happened again this week with you. <coughs> um, do you think it's fair for the judges to like ignore the sing off? Again, I think it's personal preference. Like they, they all have a personal preference. I think last week Jade was phenomenal watching her sing. I think her voice is brilliant. Um, but I love the boys as well. So it's just, you know, it goes down to personal preference. And I think the same this week, obviously, it's personal preference. I'm, I'm just glad, I'm very uh, grateful for Louis um, for, for voting me in. And, and uh, Nicole's been very nice to me. She's been really good to me. So I'm really grateful to her as well. Yeah. And obviously Gary's just wicked, I love Gary. Did you expect to see Talisa vote to um, save Ryland over you? Yeah, because uh, same thing happened with MK1, so I wasn't holding much hope out there. <laughs> Fair enough. You revealed on the show as well that you have been writing songs for an album there. Um, can you give us any teasers about... Want a song now? <laughs> Go on, no, no. why not? <laughs> um, uh, no, just like I've like, been writing songs my whole life. So, and before I did the show, I was I was working on a, making the record. So, it's just gonna hit the ground running now. For me, this is day one. So, yeah. I went on the show to have a platform and to and to get a voice. And I'm really grateful to the show for giving me that platform. Do you think your X Factor experience will inspire your songwriting at all? Definitely. I think you know it's such an emo emotional roller coaster. The whole experience. Um, I have enjoyed it immensely. So yeah, it definitely, it's definitely going to influence writing. And will Gary be making an appearance, do you think? I would love it. So I have, like, again, I need to speak to him. <laughs> and finally, who do you want to win? Um, I don't really, I don't really care who wins out of, I've got three people that I think could be in the final. Like I think uh, James, Jarmaine and Ella, and I can't really pick a winner. I think, I think they'll all do well.